We so have to. We have to grab it. Why don't we just come back to the back of the sky? What does it? I'm like, this is happening. Just over and over again. Yeah, it's really boring. Yeah. And then finally, after you kind of just kill it, that body just eventually comes up and it's like, okay, so you don't really need any of this, you can just replace it. I'm just scared of the body. It's like straight forward. How far uh, are you in uh, hiding the identities? I think it's back there. Did you do it? No, we did not. Oh, what are we doing? We still got two of them. Oh. I know. I really don't start <laughs> past down here. You guys might we'll cheat and know. Okay. And we need to do it on the first. We could just do the switcheroo again. <laughs> well, I think that's what we are. <laughs> <laughs> ah, if I want to have it really secret, I should keep it with me. Otherwise, you can read. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, I'm not very good at uh, hiding. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, right. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe in next generation or class next year, I will be better. Shuffle. Hopefully, <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> Learning about arranging security. <laughs> yeah, no, it's called shufflers. Yeah. Just a <laughs> prototypical <laughs> protocol. Like paper. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh, oh wait a minute. Yeah, we're gonna be short. Oh, and then we got this whole side. We have that. Jeez, you're running rough. That was. That that was just like one night working on the P cam. I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's what's next week. Who's going to be cheap? That's right, Sigma was too boring. Bounded is not cheap. Where are we going to get this upside down? That doesn't surprise me. It's like a sketchbook. I got I can remind you your, your symbols if you are out of creativity. <laughs> um, I will not. Ah. Here's your support. Do you have to retain No, 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 you could Oh, okay. Oh, no, I wasn't my symbol. Whatever. I was going to keep last. So my symbol. Put methanol. I would never do these other things. There we go. I mean, I could do caffeine. They are both on my coffee table. Yeah. Caffeine's a pretty large amount. Yes, yeah, so, thank you. Okay, it's not so um, let's pass. Let's pass around. Maybe. <laughs> no, no, more. Uh, <laughs> last time we did neighbor. Next, now, next neighbor. So, so otherwise it's really boring there. to to so you guys just keep it. I get my own. Back. Huh? Yeah. So then, if we do it twice, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> super. They broke the system. <laughs> That's uh, 100%. Oh, sure, sure. There we go. That's probably Yes, Sorry. Don't Okay, are we good? You get from first table. Oh, yep, we can switch more. <laughs> switch, switch more. That one is switch actually semi random. Do you switch okay. or you switch? Oh, switch to the tables. Did you book? I guess I am grabbing the bear side. That was the best. I don't know what I'm doing. Now I'm fishing. Someone else is missing. Who doesn't have one? That goes out of Austin, though. Okay. Nice. All right. Everyone is ready? Yep. It's possibly. I'm just going to slide you back yours back. I know. I thought it was like. Uh -huh. So let's uh, distribute grades between uh, assignments out of hundred ten ten to the easiest problems, which are one, two, and I think. Okay. Mm -hmm.
two and four. One, two, and four. Yes. So, schedule addition. Uh, there are not three. Three. I'll just put. Uh, Hopefully, more than three. Number three is the hardest, so it is like 40 points. Um, okay. Number number four is easy, so it's ten points, and number five is thirty thirty points. So you can enjoy reading it on your own, but I will go through. So if you have some uh, doubts, I will just cover whatever it is. So number one was to practice uh, imitation, right? And uh, it is just nothing by applying derivative of, of a product. So in, in first case, you derivative of x square is 2x, so you get minus x. And you see that swapping order of operator and derivative, uh, like two functions, der derivative and the function is not equal to zero. And when you do for arbitrary function and apply the derivative of product to the second term, you get two terms, right? So the last term here and first term overall cancel, and then you um, you get minus five. So it is just illustration of um, general principle of commutation, and specifically this one is very applicable to. Um, Commutation of uh, position and momentum operators, which uh, give uh, a constant. So, if you remove the auxiliary function, you get that the commutator of operators is not uh, zero. Um, how to create? Just be liberal. Do maximal. If you if you see answers, give full points. If you see a little shortcomings just withdraw a little bit but be nice perform to others in the same way as you want to others to perform towards you <laughs> so number two it is trivial so as an input you use Hamiltonian and initial Condition yeah. for the wave function at time zero. As an output, you get wave function at any time, and then you use your uh, third way to predict the future by uh, plugging in eigen functions, eigen energies, and expansion coefficient, which is obtained by convolution of the eigen function and initial condition. And uh, uh, functions and energies are coming from time. Independent choosing equation. So number number three. In general, it is easy, but there is a lot of a lot of steps. And if one fails in the intermediate step, then the answer will be wrong. Before we go into details, um, if you are busy, do not bother opening the screen. But if you are relaxing so the question is as follows if we do have wave function as a gaussian wave packet centered around point x zero what will be expectation value of the position operator so you just just see where the center of distribution so you can write x zero so if you see someone is doing this, if, if you see the right answer, you can immediately give like at least half of the points. Right? For, just for a clear mind and uh, understanding what, what we are doing. Now, the boring stuff, how to get it to manipulate. First, our wave function is not normalized, which means this uh, end coefficient is not known. Where do we get it? We are uh, we need to match the conditions that probability of all possible events, probability can, can it be more than 100%, right? 
So if the mean of the wave function uh, squared is probability distribution, that adding it over all area of definition, it should be one, 100%. So you have wave function squared and make it equal to one. And since in the wave function you have unknown coefficient n, you need to uh, pursue this stuff, this um, normalization condition, as an equation to find n. So it is maybe 30% of, of a problem. So if the um, n has been found as a square root of square root of 2 over pi, you can give whatever like, plus 8 points. Um, so, and there you need to square your, your wave function. And remember that um, integration of um, Gaussian function will be square root of pi. And then you observe that your unknown normalization constant times square root of pi and uh, divide by two appears from plain redefining the variables equals one and then you just solve for n and you get that it is uh, square root of square root of two over, over five. So I do not see much interest in this which means that you are done with this step. Now after you do know the normalization and we are pursuing the bridge that connects wave functions to real world. You have wave function conjugated, wave function without conjugation, and operator. Uh, there are no complex numbers, so the conjugation doesn't change anything. So therefore, we just put factor two here. Because if you multiply two exponentials, their powers add together. This one comes from square of uh, normalization constant, so we have x. And then we start playing our favorite game. Multiplying and dividing, adding and subtracting. Okay. So what is the logic? How do we um, think in the right way? The only thing that we only uh, mathematical relation that we know by now is, well, maybe not the, not the only one, but one of the very few things that we know for sure, we, we confirmed in class, that integral of Gaussian function will be square root of pi. So we try to identify it anywhere where we can see. And if you want to see uh, integration of e to the minus z square, we see that this combination of 2x minus x not Square is not an ideal, x is not an ideal variable. We want to bring this term into into a form of just e to the minus z squared. Then this variable x can be subtracted, minus x naught. And then to keep identity, we do plus x naught. So add and subtract. And under the sign of differentiation, we can add or remove anything. Then, what is the next step in logic? So we have a good variable that has good chance to be integrated. And then we have this um, problem-making term, classic zero. Why don't we split this integral into two integrals? One that contains x minus x naught, and another that contains x naught only. Right? And then we will pursue this integral number one and integral number two separately. By, by the um, maybe you are bored and you want to see the answer. The first one will be zero, the second one will be x naught. And if you are curious about details, I can swing through them. So first integral. I'm not happy with this factor two, so I may redefine 
to be variable by putting this factor two in uh, multiplying, that's minus x naught. And then we can, I don't know the right word, insert, submerge, sink, place, function under the sign of differential. differential. So uh, we had like x dx can be always replaced by dx square over 2, right? So you can take not all integral, but only the, the fraction. So we have derivative of this x square function. And then it's not the end of the story. It's we identify that we have differential of y square, and in the power we have minus y square. So why don't we replace this y square as, as z, u variable? And then it, it becomes super simple. It is e to the integral of e to the power minus z dz. So it is something that we can take for sure. And if you carefully process it, one will see that in these limits it is zero. Give me signs if I need to speak more on this. No. Um, a little step aside from these boring derivations. You may ask yourself, why do you spend this much time on this boring task if you are done with particle in a free space? Are we going to see Gaussian functions anymore? If you are done with them, why should we bother playing the game? Gaussian functions will refer them. <laughs> um, they, they, they unique. They, well, you will be either angry on me or laughing on me when I will tell that they are easy. But they are much easier than many other other things that are typically needed for, for quantum theory. So we will stick to them and try to um, to deal with them as much as possible. So first integral is zero. Second integral, x naught is a constant. We put it outside of the integration, and then we do have e to the power some variable uh, squared with derivative over, over this variable. So it will be, we can replace this one as same as before, y squared and this dy. And we will multiply and divide in such a way that uh, we do not violate the identity. So the factor that we need to bring in this square root of 2, this square root of 2 divided by pi comes from the normalization. And then we know that integration of Gaussian function will be square root of pi. And then we have x naught, 2 over pi, <coughs> pi over 2, which cancels, and then we get the answer x naught. So it coincides. I'm going to jump back three slides. One, two, three, four. With our intuitive expectation that if you have symmetric Gaussian distribution around position, then by performing the protocol to find expectation value, we will find exactly this center distribution. So it's not a big surprise. It's natural. Right? Mm -hmm. That's why I know I screwed up. Right? Huh? That's why I know I screwed up when I did it the first time. I screwed it up three times while preparing the answer. Same here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so 40 points if everything is correct, and withdraw just by one, two, three, four, five, if, if, if there are some... 40 or 30? 40. Okay. This one is the heaviest uh, problem in the whole homework. Uh, number four, 10 points. You see some combination with h bar square, and then it grows linearly as a function of time, right. quadratically. But if we inverse time, if you go backwards, then it will decrease. Right. <laughs> well, uh, right now we do not have any marker, any rule that uh, gives us direction of time. We can go backwards or uh, forwards or backwards. Nothing will change. Same as in Newtonian mechanics. If you inverse time, all equations still are still correct. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs>
but uh, give full points even if, if uh, there, is, there is no saying about uh, going in the So, and number, number five, which is worth 30 points, is very related to what we do in class, uh, what we should do in class uh, today or, or on Wednesday. So we are solving boundary condition. So uh, if you remember a little bit what we were chatting last Wednesday before your our glory on Friday, we agreed that at least what, what I remember, eight electron volts equals infinity. Therefore. Uh, the um, for many objects we do have infinite walls, and this uh, infinite walls mathematically can be translated into condition that uh, boundary conditions that wave function at x equal zero and at x equals at left and right edges of the of the box it is equal zero. Now, if we suppose that the uh, trial function is just a summation of sine and cosine with unknown proportions and with unknown <coughs> pace, rate, factor in front of argument. We can see whether such trial function does match the boundary conditions. And we do not need to do anything except plugging in values of argument at boundaries. So if we plug left boundary x equals zero, then sine becomes zero. Mm -hmm. So we don't care about it right now. Cosine becomes one. So we get that function is equal b at the left boundary. But through our requirement, because of the infinite rules, it must be zero. We require it from function. Required to be zero, but mathematically trial function is equal to coefficient b. So from the comparison, we see that it can be achieved only if you set b coefficient equal to zero. So by now we we have restrict we already narrowed down the classes function class of functions to i equals a times sine alpha x. That's it. So we do not have that B coefficient and we do not have cosine. It's already simple. Now, at least 10 points if this step is uh, achieved or even 15 to be generous and liberal. Now we plug in the uh, right, the right page. So at right edge, we set up an equation that coefficient times sine of the argument where number L is replacing the variable x is equal to zero. Let's forget, forget about a coefficient. We already know that it will be normalization and it can be found, same as we did in uh, problem number three. Mm. So, just sign of rate alpha times number L, which is size of the box equals zero. So when sine function equals to zero, Two pi, pi, three pi, <coughs> four pi. So when there are integer numbers of pi, so this argument equals integer number of uh, integer amount of pi numbers, right? And then uh, we solve for alpha, dividing both left and right by L. So the rate alpha is pi times n divided by size of the box. And then we plug it into the into the answer. 
And I was just lazy to solve for the music. <laughs> it should be something like uh, square root of Some, something like this. Okay, so please give me signs if you are done with grading. Um, how many points is number five worth? Huh? How many points is number five worth? Thirty total. Thirty. What would you say I should do here? Hmm? What would you say I should do Well, be liberal. Suppose that you did uh, the same and you want to have a reasonable grade. That just put something for attempt on attempt. Just add an extra credit. Um, at least forty. <laughs> if <laughs> at least forty, because uh, I'm not showing it, we will uh, we will cover the problem that is uh, considered as extra credit yeah. again in the case. This is um, it is too early to speak in details about it, but later we will uh, we will go through this problem uh, several times. So about psychology. Undergraduate students, please do not consider each other as competitors, or do not put too much. So, if uh, if you get hundred points, it is already completed by hundred percent. This extra credit is uh, given only to add over the hundred percent. So, even if you haven't done it, do, do not worry about grades. Do not be jealous to your uh, uh, partners, if, if they did it and you didn't. So you are in a, you are doing fine even if you didn't start the, the six problem. Please give me signs if you need more time for grading. And please give me signs if you want some comments on, uh, on any of the problems. So, so is the 40 points just to go to 100? Plus. Uh, well, about, about. yes, yes, yes. Maximal uh, grade is one hundred and forty percent. If if uh, all six problems are made. Okay. It is agrees with what I what I mean. So no one requests more time. You authorize me to go around and collect, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. <clears throat> I called the lab last night. I was working on two lab reports last night. <laughs> Yeah. I was working on multiple lab reports. I completely just lapsed the back. I think I will just give brief comments of our plans and then we'll depart in peace. <laughs> it, it, you, you, you worked hard in preparing homeworks and in grading. So um, we will play with a uh, model of particle in the box for substantial amount of time. So the problem number five is a key to time independent choosing the equation which will serve as a basis to look on time dependent uh, phenomena um, so what we skip now is to look on box with boundary conditions and discrete solution but in some sense our whole work covered it um, I don't know about you but I feel too much concentration and too much exhaust on doing this analytical so next homework should be based on MATLAB so that you do not 
dry your young brains mm -hmm. and the I will announce it on Wednesday and on Wednesday night uh, we will do it together if you are interested. Is, uh, yes? Do we, is that, that lab like always open with it on there? Because yes, I got it yeah. approved to be on my computer, but pretty sure it would like literally turn my computer into a brick if I turn like download it. Okay. I think if I downloaded MATLAB onto my computer, I'm pretty sure it would not work anymore because it's already like full and old. <laughs> Well, um, that that lab is open. Okay. Yeah. This lab, this lab is open, open and they're on the library computers too. Oh, it, it should be on pretty much most systems. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, mm. it should be, but some uh, right now there are regulations that if the software is not used regularly, the IT removes it from from classes. So but there is a um, material modeling studio. I think it is led. Uh, oh, two zero three. Is that always online? Which, oh yes, oh. it belongs to chemistry. IT doesn't protrude their uh, <laughs> yeah. bloody hands to it. <laughs> yeah, on the record, it <laughs> And MATLAB is installed there. So okay. You can, uh, come and clear. But it is recommended that, that you try it on uh, your um, you laptop. Um, what else? Yes? Do you have any kind of idea when we're looking at the next test? For like a time frame. What do you mean next test? Like a test? Test? In the general, cell don't test. I know. <laughs> you want some tests? No. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm just curious about a time frame. There's oh, yeah. Yeah. I think. No. There's... Well, never mind. If you guys will insist, we no, can no, 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 no. exams. <laughs> no, no. But I, I think homework is already big load on you and on me. Yes. I, uh, let's minimize them and uh, make maybe accent on uh, presenting, running some codes okay. in the lab. Everyone is happy, everyone gets uh, reasonable grades. So you still you, you are getting a lot of new information. You think about it on your background, even if uh, involuntarily. You, or if something shocks you, you keep thinking. And it is already a big load. I'm, I'm sure you will have something to remember about this class in year, five years, ten years. So let's not overwork and make it too hard. We will we can later by the end of the class we can make uh, democratic votes like other someone who is like is there more than fifty percent who insist on exams? I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So it, about two weeks for particle in the box. Uh, so we will chew it from each side, go, um, predicting future, finding observables, um, many things. And then in two weeks we will start another simple problem, just a uh, harmonic oscillator, which relates to infrared spectroscopy. Okay, enough, enough. That's, uh, <laughs> Thank you. Get some relaxation and see you on one thing. Yeah, got it. Exactly. Yeah, actually. And you're going to the office first. Yeah, I'm just going to do what she did. Okay. Yeah, then we're going to move on. We have a lot of Monday. So you're not going to do it. I made a mistake. I don't want to migrate. If I was a genie, I was doing my reaction. Okay. Well, the setup is pretty quick. It's one hour of reaction and uh, cleanup is. Uh,